Hey everyone. Wow, so many people still here. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate your patience. Definitely proud to have you around. <clears throat> You're doing well today. Are uh, playing some Baldur's Gate SES. Enabled in um an insane difficulty, no less. And when last I left off, we're looking through some low level quests. Try to get up over the hump to level two. Do a little bit of damage. We take a little bit of damage. And one of these was the quest um for a particular want uh, Friendly Arm. <clears throat> so if we go to the wiki to the Friendly Arm in quest, our Joya's Flame Dance Ring is what we're going to do here. We need to find Joya's home. Um, and I don't know who that is. Temple of Wisdom, Friendly Arm. It might be one of these homes around here. Let's see. Joya's home. We have a pick. Uh, it's a bit sideways. I think it's this one over here. Let's head there. <clears throat> uh, oh, Joy is home. She's going to ask us to get her ring back. Ah, yes, there she is. Hey there, you're new here. Can I trouble you a moment? Uh, certainly, milady. Speak your mind. Such manners. Well, I need a gruff hand for this task. So, keep your please and thank you garbage for the nobles. I was robbed blind by some hobgoblins within sight of this very inn's walls, and I need you to return the favor. They took my ring. That's all I want back. Will you do it? I will help you. I thank you. The creatures were just north of this inn. I swear I could almost see them from the upper rooms. Bring my ring back here when you get it. You will know it when you see it. It's a flame dance ring, and very striking. Just north of the inn. Okay. Well, we haven't gone north of the inn yet. So I suppose we're going to go north. I believe that entails going outside of the walls and walking around. Do that. This way we can get to the north of the keep. There we go. There they are. We're good to see them in the and There's a bunch of them. After it. Is our first frontliner. Ah, he's using them. Where are other frontliner ones? those done. I think that should net us one flame dance ring. Let's go. What about this one? There it is. Alright, back we go. We'll go turn that in. Get ourselves a little experience. Uh, chapter one quest again. 
My key van and Tazok and Tazok and Albert and his dog are the only two that we've missed. Thousand XP. That sounds good. Perhaps we could do that quest. What a beautiful morning. Seems like it must be a challenge. And what is this? Even in his Oh, that's in the high hedge. Um. Okay. Oh, it's a companion quest. Can't be completed until chapter four. But let's we can't do that. And we're headed to the Fireleaf Forest. That's south of Nashkill. <clears throat> it's quite a ways away for that. that. We did miss Zar and Montaron. Well, don't they have a quest thing? Uh, no, we just get rewards of con Don't get anything fancy from it. Okay. I'm gonna just roll a cloud kill there. Seems like the enemies south of there aren't bad. Hmm. I think... That's what we're left with then. We would need to look at the I guess. And start working on those. Almost level 2. Little more. That 1000 XP would get us over the hump. Start working on these chapter 2. What can we do? Um. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder can we do that? I think it involves a fight. Out here. I'll check. Well, um, let's go ahead and work. You can honestly back to Nash. Before we go, though, don't keep the rest. Ooh. Actually had a morale drop yet. Drop, for, drop that for a third heal. I think it would be worth just to keep case this losing that morale can pretty big. Let's grab a rest. We do have a few points to heal on Strongicus. Going to get a nice room. Noble room here. And uh in that flame dance ring. Oh joy, yes, yeah, so we won't sell that off. the road. Ugh, I'm out of here.
These look very good. I thank you. The ring was a gift when I set out on my own. I couldn't bear the thought of some smelly old hobgoblin having it. You are a good sort, and I'll say so to anyone that asks. Okay, so we gained 400 XP. Very good. Exactly what we want. We are zooming. What? You want it? You've got it. Here we got. Some of these about 900, some of these about a couple hundred away. Our mage is going to take a very long time to level up. Mages level up slowly. Don't worry about me. Hmm. The old chapter one. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I was misreading the thing seems as though there are more chapter one quests than I realized. That's good. Very good. So then, uh, please open by... I think there was that fire bead guy. Three of the fateful... Apparently I can buy him a book. Oh, at the friendly arm. Well, let's get that. Convenient. And he gives me a scroll case. Amazing. Sometimes he doesn't give you the quest. How funny. Well, that's worth doing. Now let's get that scroll case. We just need to buy a book here and deliver it to Baragost. I've got this. Lighthouse. Yeah. Definitely got some exploring to do there. History of the Fateful Coin. That's the one. There's a Baldur's Gate 2 quest here. How funny. That's not it. Name 300 XP. Crazy guy. Don't worry about me. There's a. Uh, looks like we can wander around the Sword Coast and find some places. Find like shipwrecks coast is another thing. Go to some stuff out that way. By wandering around right house. Isn't that off to the east? Both the world map. Can't figure out where the heck to go. <laughs> Actually get up to level two. The game is a real puzzle. Uh, yes, this map. This. Just gone. Convenient. Okay, there we go. We're here. We'll put us to the west from the Indy. 
Okay, if we go west from here, we get to Cloakwood. There was a cloak there that we want to get somewhere. <clears throat> um, if we go north from here, there's a bandit camp. We could go visit Baldur's Gate, I guess. Even though I don't think it, they would let us in yet. Let's see, the lighthouse map is to the south. Got a bunch of places that we could check out here, but going to the Cloakwood seems like a good idea. Let's go explore the Cloakwood. And to get there, we need to go out the west edge of this map. Let's go that way. This is going to be, there's probably going to be a bunch of fights out this way, and I think protection or something. Some guy was saying he lost his cloak. That's another quest. Can't go that way. We need to go north. Perhaps we even. I thought would definitely. Try exiting the map further north. Perhaps we can quest from there. It's um, a couple of them. A couple of them. They're not particularly threatening at this time. These are. Oh! That one's threatening. I'm in circles. No way. He's standing in a good spot, though. I'm gonna attack him. You Stabs a lot in the other direction. I've got this. Send these that way. Melee at him. Oh. Alright, and as soon as he swatch, swips, switches ad crow, Kerner attacks on him. Easy clap. Just needed to do a little bit of micro there. Slightly mispositioned. Okay. All of these fights are very deadly, so if you misposition for a moment and get aggroed onto your mage, he only has six hit points. Same with our thief. It's eight. We manage our aggro very, very, very Pretty much every hit is going to be most, if not all, of our hit points. Let's see if this works. Okay, so we can go north here, and we go west from here. I've got this. Or do we have to go west from there? I guess we have to go west from there. I've got this. Now let's go west. Do we get to the mines? To get there. So I think what we need to do then is perhaps go north from here. Google. By heading west from the friendly arm in. Oh, you can't go there until chapter four. <clears throat> okay, well, we just can't go there yet. Well, I guess while we're here, let's explore to the north. Let's see what we can find. Go ahead and knock this map out. I've got this. It has been a little while since I have. We're gonna wait on the cloakwood. Remember, there was a lot of combat there, but I guess it's a little high level for us. After four, huh? Jeb's right. It's only a matter of time before we. Uh, we uh... Damn it, Jebedo! We can't go on like this forever. There's no way we can keep quotas up when we're afraid to come near the nets. Excuse me. Who are you? I'm sorry, but we've no fish today. Perhaps in less troubling time. Wait, Jebedo. Perhaps they're the answer to the problem. They look pretty trustworthy. 
Oh yeah, the problem. Sorry for my manner, but we are a poor, poor folk, not accustomed to trouble. And it's hard times now. We can't but get a boat into the water before she's swamped by the rains. It's that bitch of Umberlee. She's the one. Eddie Tellman. What he means is, we're being harassed by a priest of the bitch queen Umberlee. We don't even know why. But whenever we attempt to fish, she turns the weather sour. Two of us were washed away, just walking to the docks. But we cannot prove to the guard it was her. We'd be needing someone to strong arm her into leading us, leaving us alone. <clears throat> We've not got much money, but I'll gladly give you a magical weapon from my grandfather's adventuring days. It's a meager amount for your trouble, but it would be a great service to us. Will you help us, a group of poor fishermen? I like magic weapons. Your offer is fair. Consider it done. Ah, I knew we could depend on you to do what's right. She hides out near a small shack to the north. Watch your backs and act quickly. She's tricky. Good luck, brave friends. Okay. So we are looking for a priestess of Umberly. Umberly, if you're not familiar, is the goddess of the sea, and she is very evil. So this is not a nice character. Up here. Just for reference, we do know her. Or we can assume her to be. We walk out here. Not here. She is the north, but we can't go directly north, so I guess we have to go around. There's a hole in the ground. In Keg's nest. Well, that's not where we're going. No. Ooh. Ooh. That's that not what we're doing. Looking for a house, and we're gonna go kill level one cleric. Find where she is. How do we get across the river? We're here to fight Ankegs. You've come here to fight Ankegs? Well, listen up. It's mating season. So it's primarily females coming up to the surface, looking to put on a little extra weight. They're hungry, they're aggressive, and there are a lot of them. Now, the point of this exercise is not to exterminate them, but to keep their population to a manageable level. Remember, they aerate the soil and thereby improve crop yields by as much as 15%. Food is going to be scarce enough in the next few years, so keep that in mind when you're out there. No more than four Ankegs per party. After that, it's catch and release, all right? Most of the activity starts about 50 yards to the east. Move out, everyone. Keep an eye on things from here. Don't worry about me. Interesting. I guess there are end cakes around. Um, seeing one. See any enemies on the map? See, oh, are we gonna die? I guess we didn't see one on the way up. I don't know what kind of attack rolls they have. Okay. Hmm. They're gonna keep. It's gonna keep chasing us. There are a lot of them. Let's see, can we fight it? Okay, we cannot fight it. Wow. <laughs> nope. Uh, that was an eleven. That hit on a 14. It did 11 missile damage. We are gonna chalk up an E3 set. Ow. Okay. So this is clearly not where we are supposed to be. Um, I believe this, if I remember correctly, this is an area from Chapter 4. Let's, uh, go here. Turn around. You want it? You've got it. I didn't realize we would be attacked by Yankings. Well, all right then. Hmm. We're gonna not go that way. And yes. Keep going south.
the mini-map. <laughs> I'm glad the map was correct, at least. I was worried the map was wrong. <clears throat> um, and... So, we can go to Peltvale. See what kind of stuff we have in Peltvale. The Wood of Sharp Teeth. People there. Some stuff to fight. <clears throat> A little bit of treasure. Ooh. Quest on Bounty on Bandits. Right, there's Officer Vi and the Jovial Juggler. Or talk to her. He will give us a bunch of money for bandit scalps. Let's go do that. Let's go to Pelville. Let's go to let's go north to the bandit camp. Hear those out and get lots of bandit scalps. So that'll generate a bunch of money. We'll get a bunch of experience. Don't worry about me. I think this may be the way. I don't actually know if we can take these fights, but we're gonna give them, we're gonna give them a shot. At the very least, we're gonna get a lot of money. We can clear it out. In part of it. Which one of those uh, bandits that we beat is, represents 50 gold. I've got this. That is great. A little bit of gold from these jibberlings. Grab stuff. Don't worry about me. Got Black Talon Elite. So I don't know how scary these guys are. They may be pretty scary. Let's see how quickly. Okay, we die right away. What did he hit on? He did roll an 18. So much damage. Oh, man. So much damage. Eight damage. Missile. Hmm. <laughs> All. Perhaps these guys are too much. Our AC is six. Well, no, I have a pretty decent AC on the face too. They're wearing armor. So oh, I think it sucks. Maybe we could go this way. Maybe we just managed this wrong. Let's let's try engaging with this uh, combat more quickly. Talk of a night three load, and uh, see if we can't do this. Did quick save right here. I've got this. By putting our melee right, what's front. This some more hit points. He uh, engages on them first. That's working better already. Yes. Oh my god. She does so much damage. Wow. 10 damage. So that wasn't even close to max damage. We may be out of our depth. Wow, that's a lot of experience. <clears throat> that is a great amount of experience. That is like an entire quest for us. But I think that was worth the reset. And you got a bandit scout. Good. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to use a heal. But that's okay. I should be packing three heals. We fight three bandits. Once, and then we go back. And we return. Certainly get it, can't get into a fight with a bunch of those guys. I can arrows of cold. Very scary. Definitely need to have Sorted. our warriors out front. This is a, I guess, a cliff face. Okay. I've got this. Go over there. 
Yes, we can. We're just confused. I'm on it. Uh, oh, there's a thing here. A simple matter. Gold. Hey, that's nice. We take those. You want it? You've got it. Can't go up there, please. So, let's we go back around. Oh, we have this. Oh, this is another Black Talon Elite. Um. If I'm positioned correctly. We're not positioned correctly at all. Want it? You've got it. Not fighting us. That's good. He didn't see us. So uh, let's get into a good position here. Drop down a save. Sorted. Handle this. And it makes sense. We'll send. <clears throat> we'll send two. Our two melee characters at him. Off to the side, we'll have our ranged character. And he will Sorry. aggro onto these two. Hopefully he doesn't have any friends. Get over here. As soon as we see him attack, here we go. Attack strong, because Okay, so now we can come in. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. He's using, he's got a major negative bonus to hit when we are in the I'm on it. He's dead. Oh, 420 more XP. Awesome. <clears throat> Let's go. We're making it work. Did take some damage. Did take some more damage. Hmm. Pop a healing potion. I feel like we maybe don't need this, um... I don't need remove fear after all. Uh, we can swap this out for a fear light. We haven't actually used this. Our morale is staying pretty high. Sorted. Don't worry about me. So we're really close to leveling up now. Bard, at least seven hit points. Uh, heal and we'll leave after the next one. Back with three heals. A couple more. It's going better than expected. See if we can find ourselves another I guess we probably can't go into the camp. We get completely marked. Maybe pick off these individual guys. Oh, there's a bear. Take on a bear. Bear? I've got this. Let's grab these. I'm going to have them not attack the bear. Don't want it to aggro onto them. Once the bear counterattacks, then we'll stick our range units on them. Nice. That's a dead black bear. Gotta level up! Woo! Okay, first level up. <clears throat> Finally. We are leveling up our Scald. And we get a Mage spell. <laughs> One spell and eight hit points. So that is huge. Um, because we're playing with SES on such high difficulties, we're getting max hit points on level up. So many of our characters are going to get so much stronger. In just a moment, get those levels coming through. Jeff is going to continue to be made of paper until 1,200 more individual XP, so it's going to be a little while until Jeff is not made of glass. But he also is going to bulk up real quick with all this constitution. Thing. Okay, wow, yes, much better. Much, much better. So the face is pretty tanky. Going to level up around the same time. We're going to get Scald level 3 at the same time we get Mage level 2. Very interesting XP dynamic. Okay. Next is our rogue. Pin 5 XP. 
and then after that it's going to be our priest bishop here and then our fighter we are pretty close we're going to get our levels Don't start to roll in here pretty soon very exciting We found some stuff that we can fight. And that is worth more than 35 XP. Another black bear. Eat it up. Don't worry about me. Right, oh, what's this? That's right. Once. Almost had a... <laughs> Thoughts plan attack bear. Wait, there we go. Oh, damage there. Did land a land a good attack in. Seven crush. Ouch. Oh, we got that level up. Okay. So, we are going to keep working on fine traps and open locks. Like so. And now our rogue is no longer made of paper. So, here's the thing. We don't have any more healing. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to give a healing potion over to our fighter here. We don't want to use those unless we absolutely have to. They're very expensive and rare. And I am going to... Uh, we come back with three. Your light wound counts. Okay. Long journey. Don't worry about me. Uh, okay. Oh no. We need to buy another another weapon for uh, Strongicus. It seems his weapons have broken. Anything he can use. He can use this, can't he? I think he can use this plus two, I guess. Yeah, okay, well, this is a little better. It won't break at least. Get over here. We'll just keep our injured fighter back. She doesn't take. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Gonna find our way back. And take a rest. Go back and take on some of those scary, scary bandits. Self some more XP. Level up to two. As we get to level two here, we'll have so much more hit points. <clears throat> we'll be able to take a hit here and there. That mean that we can fight off some of these scary solo enemies that are keeping us from going into some of the taverns that we want to be able to use. It's going to make a big difference. Wow, see I got another follower. Hey, thanks if you're still here. Really appreciate that. So glad to have you. It's, uh, and Burger Bun. All the better. Appreciate you. We are still walking. Oh, they're going in the wrong direction now. Go. Oh. Sometimes you they get a little confused, split up or go the wrong way. It is a very old game after all. Pathing. This is pretty advanced pathing, honestly, for uh, for a game this age. Oh, I suppose they probably could have updated it a little bit when they uh, did the Enhanced Edition. Wouldn't have hurt to put in some new pathing algorithms. Alright, so we have two level 2 characters now. We've got level 2 for the face and for Madame stabs a lot. You want it? You've got it. I need the mail. Okay. 
not gonna take a nice long rest in a coil room. Big heal there for free. And I need to buy some more weapons for buy an axe. Actually, while we're here, just in case they break, let's buy two. They're cheap. Do the same thing for Warhammers. Buy two of these. He doesn't have the inventory space. We'll give him that. Now let's figure out what we've got going on up here. Up with his back. It's useless. I guess we'll toss potions her way. <clears throat> now we've got a chain base. Mail there. Okay, so we can sell off these two splint mails. We don't need these. Extra money in our pocket. We've got some gems to sell off too. Fighter here. Weapons. We did buy those weapons. Weapons for our fighter. We have to make sure that we aren't missing any ammunition. On am. Crossbow bolts. Tons of arrow. Maybe do with a few more stacks of bullets. We need a lot more darts. Yeah. Five stacks of bullets. Extra stacks of dumb. Need three of these. Five stacks of bullets. I don't have darts. Oh, there they are. I am 50 darts. Need to buy some more of these next time you find a shop. Got some for now. Send those. Anybody even have art? Oh, get that to the face. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> the face can't carry it while wearing chainmail. Hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose we won't be doing that then. Once we get uh, some lighter stuff, all capped up on ammo. Buy any bolts. Okay. Oh. Oh. I wonder. Maybe. Let's see if we can buy some potions at a uh, temple. I bet that temple sells some potions, healing and stuff. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I've got this. I've got this. 
Oh, there she is. Yes, potions. Okay. So these potions of genius, we need to remember these are here. I don't want to buy one yet. But potions of genius are what we use to get um, spells memorized. Because intelligence effects are likely to be a spell. We're going to need those. Also, these potions of extra healing. I'm going to come back and buy these for sure. <laughs> but we can't afford them yet. Look, some of these potions are really good. Elixir of Health is an excellent potion. 10 hit points compared to the Potion of Healing's 9, while also curing poison. Also, Stone to Flesh is, um, undoes flesh to stone. Pretty good. We don't need that yet, but we will be stumbling into some creatures eventually. <laughs> will make us want to have that. <clears throat> Now, we are going to be fighting some um, pretty scary fighters. I'm considering buying some elixirs. Oh. Maybe buy... I mean, we could buy a lot of potions. Buy about half their potion stock. Save this. Let's see what we can do without it. Hmm. Yeah, let's hold on for now and try to buy maybe a magical item or something. You've got it. We'll save those potions for later. I get through the early game without those. I'm in the late game. I guess, well, not the late game. We're not really going to need small potions. In. We have them for chapter two. Alright, so let's get out of here. Hands, get daddle, and pretty soon we will not have to worry about <clears throat> some of these level requirements quite so much. Our hit points, superior tactic. Tactic back to Peldvale. You want it? another he travel. I don't like that he split off there. Hunter any. Help me. Oh. If you don't help me, this is Viconia. Kill me. So this is one of our potential party members. Um Calm down, we'll help you. Just tell us who you are. My name is Viconia. I I'm not from around here. Thank you so much for helping. Um, so there are people I guess trying to kill her? I don't see them. Let's get in position. Okay, well, the, that must be the people trying to kill her. It's the flaming fist. Uh-oh. Uh. Hmm. Step aside, travelers. I am a member of the flaming fist. The woman you are harboring is a wanted, is wanted for murder of the foulest sort. She is a dark elf. It should be obvious that she is evil. They lie. I've done nothing wrong. Let's see, so. Uh, the Flaming Fist, these guys, um, they pretend to basically be cops, but they are just really kind of like mercenaries found funded by the nobility. <laughs> um, they aren't actually any sort of real authority, except that they're just kind of scary. Um, let's see. I think we can get some extra experience if we save her. Also, I mean, our characters are good, and um, so we'll say... We'll ask what, what he intends to do. What do you intend to do once you have her? Kill her, of course. Um, and uh, we'll say, well, no, you can't You can't kill her. You can't allow that. You're going to have to go through us. This is a stupid decision. You're harboring a murderer. I sentence you all to death. Well, this guy um, is going to get booped. I regret saying that. Hopefully. Hopefully he's going to get booped. We just all missed our first round of attacks. So I guess we'll see whether he gets booped or not. I may need to cast a spell at him. If that is entirely possible. I'm going to try. I think my characters are perhaps... Let's check. Close. Yes. So there is a negative modifier. That's why we all missed. There's a massive negative modifier. 
attacking with a ranged weapon. I think it's within like 30 feet, so you need to go somewhere like about this far away. Yeah, and there we go. You can see that in our first round, minus two here, or for example, for God's plan. And if we look at their next attack, still a minus two. Dexterity. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I guess maybe it happened in the same round or something. Or we're still too close, perhaps. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's what it is. I think it's also there is a negative modifier for something engaging in melee. Because it was engaged. It, this guy is engaged in melee already. Uh oh. That's not what we want. Why is he suddenly aggroed onto my, my, my ranged characters? Okay, try that again. Slight reposition. We keep missing him. Lots of misses. Pretty got pretty high armor class. What the heck? What do we need to hit this guy? And how did we do so much damage so early in the fight? We miss some of our characters are missing on 15s. Finally. Bigly McSmackington hitting on an 18. We get a oh, he was in full plate. Well that's why. Hey, that's like a thousand gold that we just got. Alright. That fight was totally worth doing. Yeah. You want it? You got it. Okay. Iconia. Um. Okay, so she says, "I thank you for risking yourselves on my behalf. I know what you are thinking. You see my dark skin and won't trust me for it. I am a dark elf, but I'm an outcast. I need your help. I no longer receive my powers from the spider gods you surface dwellers fear so. The goddess Shar grants me wisdom, and she is a surface divinity." If you'd let me join your group, I would be most grateful. I have nowhere else to go. So Viconia is a great cleric. But again, we aren't really taking any of these NPCs with us. But we'll say it has nothing to do with race. We just don't need another person along to worry about. Sorry. It says, you surface dwellers are so weak. I should be glad that you... Yes, you should. He's going to be spared an awful lot of uh, really grueling combat against... Um, all sorts of crazy stuff, like dragons and whatnot, demons and stuff, so... Yeah, she's probably better off with them. See, so what else is around here? Oh, there's a bandit there. Now, this is just a lowly single bandit. I have a feeling we might be in for multiple bandits. Oh, he's coming after us. Okay, well... We're fighting him. Hopefully we don't see one of those elites show up. He's running away. I don't like that. Let's not chase him. Want to get led into... There we go. <clears throat> yeah, did not want to get led into a bunch of uh, other bandits. That can happen. Better to break things down into smaller encounters. Get our save in. Check out what's up here. Such menial task. I've got this. Hey. Making some progress. Here's another bandit. Oh, oh, Jeff taking a hit there. Salted. That's not what you want. Could be exploring a bit more carefully. So having a familiar would be nice. I'm on it. Don't worry about me. Right, what's this then? So here we're just microing them in two groups. Squishy ranged units. So these wild dogs won't mess with us. There's too many of us. But the wood of sharp teeth, I guess, because probably of the dogs. I've got this. Right, what's this then? 
got it. Sorted. Don't worry about me. I'm on it. I've got this. And there is uh, apparently a giant spider over there. And we don't want that to aggro onto our squishy characters. Move our melee characters in first. Don't worry about me. Let it aggro. Why? Why? Why is it attacking? Switched. <laughs> we need to make it de-aggro. There we go. Okay. Sorted. We're to manage that aggro very carefully. Sorted. Don't worry about me. Fighter circle. I'm on it. I've got this. Right, what's this then? You want it? You've got it. Right, what's this then? Out over here. We've explored a lot of the map, not quite all of it. Oh, there's some more bandits over here. Get those. Sorted. Pull back until our range units are closer. And step up. Grab these. Pull them back until the uh, enemy aggros. Don't worry about me. Okay. Wow. Wow. That was a crit. Okay. We're gonna get into melee. We'll be fine. Okay. We're gonna use God's plan to drop a heal. And bigly mix smack it. Heal done up. Don't worry about me. Nice. <laughs> Let's see, let's pick up whatever items this guy dropped. Just the top of his head. I've got this. Okay. Oh, that's one of those, uh, one of those very scary archers. Oh, he's attacking me. Oh no. Okay, I guess we need to go in. Your life ends here. Who is being attacked? Oh, that's lucky. Okay, so attacking one of our melee characters. Okay. Oh, 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 ouch. Oh, man. Okay, well, fuck up another reload. I thought, he, I thought I had his aggro managed. I guess not. Dang. Should have waited until we got into melee range. Step up, that's what happened there. Don't worry about Not me. properly engage that fight. Sorted. You want it? Too off. Sorted. Try that again. Wait. Kill. Go. Now he's a melee. Can't shoot those arrows anymore. Just not. Just need to make sure that that first arrow goes into one of our tankier characters and not our mage with three hit points. Okay. You want it? You got it. That's good. Now we need to drop another heal. Every single time we see one of those black talons. Every arrow they fire is pretty much a heal that needs to drop. Okay. And, uh, that's almost the whole area. You want it? The... You've got it. One more that we can drop. I've got this. Put it back. These two forward. That is a Black Talon Elite, so we're going to need to, uh, everybody ready to jump. 
Okay, so let's wait for that arrow to fire. Get strong at this. That's fine. Probably the ideal target. He's trying to stay out of melee. He doesn't want to get engaged on. Oh. I see, that's what happened before. He was getting out of melee. So that um he could have... see, so when I see that. Alright. We're learning. We've lost now an 11th time. These black talents are crazy. We are fighting them a bit early. Oh yes, yes it is. Hello, welcome back. Oh, that's interesting. My chat is not updating, it seems. Weird. Okay. Hi, Shan Burger Bun. I'm only seeing that here. Chat is on screen. Oh, hi, Shannon. I see. Well, I followed you back. It, the chat is apparently not on my phone screen where it should be. It wasn't updating. No. no. Okay. Well, now it's empty. So I guess it would show. It would show it if if there was a new message. So sorry, I missed your message, Shannon. I don't know if you're still here, but thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out. But yes, chat is on screen. Well, we got another reload. Did I, did I chalk that up to 11? I did. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta micro that a bit more carefully. Don't worry about me. Again, once we get uh, up to the next level, we'll stop taking these one shots so much. Everything does a bunch of extra damage here. We are looking to get to level 2. Honestly, we might as well just leave Jeff at home. You Except that he needs to get some experience. I've got this. Oh. I, don't, I really don't think anybody else can be one-shot. Let's do this. Don't try to keep our, our weaker characters from getting engaged. He's going to fire a very painful arrow here. Shoot at it. Let's see if he moves again. Interesting that he stays in in uh, range here. What's he attacking? Attacking stronger, because okay. He dies. Yeah, so we just needed to have Jeff hang back. <laughs> just have Jeff stand over there. Let everybody else do the work. That's the trick. Ah. <laughs> We broke another hammer. Why we bought two? Pay for both hammers. I'm gonna use both hammers. Don't worry about me. There we go. 420. Another very nice amount of XP. We are seven XP away from leveling up our priestess. Very good. All right. All right. Couple of big face palm moments there. That's to be expected on such a crazy difficult mod set. Such a crazy difficult, difficult. These strikes, every single one of these fights is incredibly deadly. But even if I freeze through several fights back to back, um, you know, just bear in mind that every single one of these is life and death. Practically every enemy, even the lowliest kobold, can kill us. That's right. Exploring out this. What all stuff? Sorted. Hey. Hello, Ted. Hello. Hey there, city folks. So, what in the name of Lathander takes you so far from home? Why don't you tell us about yourself first? Well, sure. My name's Ted, and I'm a big game hunter. Right now, I'm hunting for a bear. You know, a bear is pretty valuable. What with its pelted meat? Hell, you could even sell its teeth for some sort of profit. Actually, I better get a move on. 
I don't want to be out after dark with, with all these bandits and all. Okay, well, we killed a couple bears and it didn't drop anything. Uh, maybe we needed to talk to him first, though. Or perhaps now bears will drop things for us? If there's any mechanics like But we have collected a bunch of bandit scalps. Let's see, we are up to seven. Each of these represents 50 gold. That is a great deal of money. That's 400 gold right there. Oh, another Black Talon Elite. This is... He noticed us. I don't think he noticed us. Let's get a quick save in. Get into position. And, um... Sorted. We have taken a little damage on Strongicus. I'm a bit worried I'm on it. about Strongicus getting aggroed on. And, uh, Jeff just doesn't get to walk up. Just has to stand back here. So let's send in Bigly first. A simple matter. Then we'll send in. We'll send in Strongicus behind. Then. Everybody oh, he missed. Wow, that's very fortunate. Let's start running again. Actually, just have our ranged guys hang back. I guess he's trying to land a ranged attack. There we go. Let's now step up now that he's engaged in melee. A ranged attack again. Oh, great. We just did a bunch of damage. 28 piercing damage on that crit. Can you see that screen shake effect? That's what that is. It's a critical hit. I'm on it. And that's a level. We've got a level 2 cleric. Now let's plan here. I hit level 2. Let's see if we get maximum hit points. To uh, that setting, because we're playing on SCS, SCS we got to make sure we have that on, or this will be all but impossible. Um, that bumps us up to 20 hit points on our priestess, literally doubling her HP. That is... Very, very big. And next up for our level, I think, is going to be Fighter here. Following that, oh, yep, our Dwarven Defender and our Fighter. Following that, finally, our Age Avenger. Hit level 2. 200 points after that. Let's see. Gold in our pocket. of this area. You want it, you've got it. it. It doesn't go further than that. I think we're done with this map. <clears throat> and uh, we could head back to the town, go rest up, and come back again, and try to take on that bandit, see if we can't do that. I think the bandit camp, oh yeah, that end. The bandit camp might be too much. We will have to see. Here it's going to be very difficult. But if we can wind up clearing that out, we can make a lot of money, get a lot of experience. But we get our level 2s rolled in. Really what we need. I gathered our party. I can't go to the bandit camp from here. Um, I thought it was the north side. I've got this. Oh. Leave out a different side. I don't see a way to leave out the west. Thought that we needed. To. Leaving out the north doesn't open up the uh, the bandit camp. Hmm. Perhaps we need to talk to um. Dark first. Pull this up. Let's see. If we need to do something first, or we can get to the bandit camp. Chapter three. Ooh, okay, so we do not want to go to the bandit camp then. <laughs> Definitely not. Let's go back to the friendly arm and get a rest in. We've got some good XP here. Guess while we're here, let's go to the south. See if we can't reveal something to the south of here. 
we don't have to come back to do Might unlock the Lars Wood to come down here. I don't know if uh, we can even get there yet. Okay, let's go there. After we go to the friendly arm. There's the Lars Wood. That's great. Let's check out friendly arm first. And we'll head to Lars Wood after that. You want it? You've got it. All right, we are unlocking stuff. We are finally making some major progress. Uh, getting up past level one was tough. We had to fight a lot of hobgoblins. We got there. Did some uh, fetch quests. A couple fetch quests for some people. Picking up a few hundred experience points here and there, but now we're getting to some stuff. It's lots of XP. Killing some guys that give over 400 per kill. Uh, we were doing quests that were given 300 XP just for the whole quest. Finally, we are getting to this content. Um, not yet. Well, that would explain why we're not here. You remember when I said that uh, I hurt to, to improve the pathing algorithms? Oh. It would have hurt to improve to enhance the pathing algorithms. Is perhaps my uh, my only real quip about this game in the modern era. <laughs> that is really saying something for a game that's so old. Yeah, you do have to micromanage your characters a bit when it comes to the pathing. They'll get in each other's way. Um, sometimes they can even kind of glitch into each other, which is really annoying. But that is that happens with older games. It's the name of the games. I guess uh, if we get that kind of thing where our characters clip into each other and we can't fix it, I suppose we won't call that a reset. We would just call that a bug. Wait. But usually when they clip into each other, uh, you can manage to get them to <laughs> separate apart. Uh, uh, only really a big issue if that happens during combat. But in general, during combat, you should be microing your characters to try to stay separate from each other, pretty far away. You want to keep a little bit of gap between them, usually. The odds of them moving into the same spot and getting stuck together like that. Fair. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Don't worry okay. about me. Get a rest. Okay, and we need a good deal of healing, so let's grab another ro noble room. We've got the money for it anyway. Everybody healed up. Got all of ours. <laughs> I forgot to actually memorize armor. Probably should have done that. Oh well. So our uh, skull doesn't have any spells for today. We'll have some spells tomorrow. They forgot to prepare. Rookie moon. The skull's part. Definitely not like this. Let's check out the Lars Wood. You have been waylaid by enemies and must been attacked yourself. by some wolves. They're not actually attacking. Check speed of the game. Oh wow! Okay. Ah, they hurt. Not a problem.
Why did you decide it only wants to bite her? This is very strange AI behavior. <laughs> like a Benny Hill film. It attacks Jeff! Ah! Oh no! It seems that they go for weakened enemies. <gasps> Wow. Okay, well, this answers our question. 65 experience and incredibly dangerous. 20 piercing damage. That's not. Okay. 20 piercing damage. Poor Jeff. Poor Jeff. Oh, reload. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> Ooh. I wonder how many views, or I wonder how many uh, views, I um, wonder how many resets it's going to take. Will we get to three digits? Will we get to four before we beat throwing a ball? Like, how many resets, really? I've never counted before. This will be fun. Um, okay, well, hopefully we can manage to not die on the way to the Larswood. Okay, that's a long journey. Is there anything out here that we can even kill safely? A bandit. I like it. But we need to make sure that Jeff doesn't get auto-targeted. Auto Let's run away a little bit. Oh. Jeff was very vulnerable. Um, now we can go. And let's move Jeff backwards. Do not want Jeff to get targeted. Dead bandit. Get over here. Go, go, go. Go. Dead. Go, go, go. And that bandit. Okay. Don't worry about me. That's good. And up their stuff. Each one of these bandit scalps represents 50 gold. Very, very good. Right. Grab these two and send them out in front. They're a bit tankier than me. I'd rather they get aggro. Don't worry about me. I'm on it. Don't worry about me. I don't remember any of what's in this area. Really where we're going. We're doing some wilderness adventuring. Sorted. Trying to get some experience. Maybe run into some quests. Maybe run into some fights. Uh, oh, there's a, that. It's a, it's a bear. I didn't even see it. Fight the bear. Oh, ouch. Okay. Uh, yeah, bear's hurt. Let's run away. We can get it to aggro onto uh, Bigly. Okay, it did aggro onto Bigly. Switch aggro. Okay, good. Bigly landed a hit there. Let's heal up stronger cuts. <laughs> It'll be a lot better once he's level 2. Won't be too much longer now. That's 175 XP. So that gets split up, so we're still 300 XP from leveling him up. Those XP numbers are shared throughout the whole party. Having a smaller party will get you to higher levels faster. Don't necessarily need a six-person party, but I like to run. Party is usually recommended. You can also do pretty well solo if you do a Fighter Mage Thief. And you can do well with a three-person party if you have a Fighter, a Mage, and a Thief. There's another one of those Black Talon Elites. Let's go away from there. Okay, we are being attacked. Did trigger on us. So we're going to try to get him to change what he's aggroing. I'm going to micro Strongacus over to this direction at first to get out of the way. Bring Bigly Street down again to get out of the way. Oh, and those kind of little micro tricks 
are things that you learn to help your characters get stuck on each other. Okay. We really want to make this guy get aggroed onto these two. Let's see if we can make him that. Okay, he has switched aggro. That's good. We can bring these back in. As long as we make sure that he doesn't switch aggro again. Okay, so he's trying to switch aggro now, so we need to stop. I think he's probably trying to target Jeff. And then back. And as soon as Jeff gets out of the way, I believe he'll start attacking. Probably because he sees the one shot on Jeff. Uh, yep. Yeah, so as soon as Jeff is out of range, or out of his vision range, he's going to turn around and start fighting uh, Strongicus again. Ooh, ouch. Okay, we need Strongicus to drop aggro. So very unlucky hit. We're going to run away with Strongicus. And... That's not good. Stronger goes to this. She's on the wrong side of him. So we're gonna move her around here. Try to try to body block. And then we'll have uh we'll have Stronger just run up and get a heal here. Oh, she's already dead. Well, another heal. Oh, we're getting another that's another 420 experience, so that is just getting us a bit closer. That next Spider level. Everybody. I got this. Don't worry about me. Hongakus is slowed. It's not good. Well, he is carrying an awful lot of armor. get into one more fight. We can get into one or two more big fights. But I think just one so that we have enough leeway to get home. I pick another fight here. This fog here. Figure out what's where. Actually, go up here. Is anything interesting? Seems like. Oh. No other fights yet. We've gone about. Halfway through the map. I think we're going to have to leave and return. Leave. When we return, we will come back and get another level in short order. Oh, what's this? Some sort of structure? A structure out here in the woods. What's going on here? Oh. Uh, someone stops us and says, Arrogant fools, you return to the very slaughter for which you were responsible. Your blood will soak the ground before I allow any of you to leave. I will avenge the deaths of my brothers. Um, say, what are you talking about? We've killed no one. I think you're a little addled in the head. Perhaps you should calm down so we can figure out who really killed your brothers. Says, you think your excuses can work on me? I know what you are, what all of you are. Let the wrath of Maelar destroy you and your faithless companions. Okay, so I guess he's going to attack us. Um, Eve Bear. Next, Jeff. Oh, no. Um, uh, you want it? You got it. hmm. Fine. Okay, we need to make... All right, all right. Uh, needs to go that way. We need to get everyone out of Jeff's way. Send these three over it? here. Send Jeff like right here. I mean, we need to make Bigly block the bear's path. There we go. So we body blocked a little bit. We can get Jeff out of the way. Let's send God's plan up here with a, with a club. Help fight the bear. 
Oh, there's a second bear. Okay. There are lots of bears. I think we're gonna... I, I think this fight might be a bit much for us. Um, I... This druid seems pretty scary. Let's try. I don't know what these cave bears are capable of. Um, exactly. Find out. I know that it's definitely intent on killing our friend here. Let's... Let's... Uh, <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, those cave bears are, I think, a bit too much. Oh, and he's just summoning stuff? Okay, yeah, this is this is not going to work. So, we're going to fuck up another reload and not go there. Um, that, that. I don't think we are anywhere near being able to take that fight on. We'll avoid that. And we will not go that way. Something tells us we should turn around. Very interesting that there's something over there. I guess we'll go back there for a quest or something. So there's another Black Talon Elite over here. It didn't attack us yet. We can reposition. Get Bigly and... A stronger just to be aggroed on. Right, what's this then? Go in there. We're gonna send Jeff right, right. over here because we know already know what's gonna happen if Jeff gets in range. So big arrow comes through and lands on uh, Bigly, but that's okay. No other range attacks are gonna land. He's trying to run away so he can uh, switch aggro, but we're not gonna let him. That's a part of SCS. That's uh, improved scripting for them. They will, if ranged characters, will often try to reposition, Sorted. making them a little bit harder to deal with. But when it's just one character, that much of a problem. We can just stay on it. But you'll see in some later fights, trying to jump on the ranged characters and delete them can be a real challenge because they'll make your melee characters run in circles from room doing nothing. Just like we do. Okay, so then, um, I'm on it. Eat here. That was a surprisingly easy fight, but we used our last heal, so we need to get out of here and go rest and come back. We can't really afford to take any damage before we heal, or rather, before we rest. Because this is a 24-hour journey back to safety. So if we uh, were highly likely to get waylaid by travelers, we want to make sure to have as many hit points available for that as possible. So if we get waylaid, we're probably just going to die. Because a lot of those are really insanely crazy, insanely difficult. Oh, we didn't. Okay, that's good. <laughs> but once we level up a bit more, um, again, you know, hitting level 2 is going to make a big difference. Most of our characters get one or two shot, even at level two, by a lot of attacks. But any large encounter that we get into, really scary. Huh. Almost there, get a rest in. We can get a cheap room this time because we're all at full health, we don't need any healing. We'll just grab a peasant room, we're just getting our spells back. Save a little bit of gold. 